I want to do this in front of the boys because I wanted them to uh, kind of let them know what the town does and uh, what people do for the public and, uh, and get an idea of you know how nice it is for people to stand in. And our first uh, presentation tonight is going to go to Mr. Richard West, who generously donated his time. Well, they didn't donate. I mean, we paid him. <laughs> but uh, we were without a council person when Chris uh, Latchmore became judge. And uh, the board decided we would like to go after somebody that had some experience in the past. And Mr. West was a prior council person probably 10 years ago. And, uh, or so, right, Nick? Is that correct? About 10 years ago? Closer to 20. Anyway, we asked if he would generously fill in for us, and he said yes, only for the year. And we really appreciate his time and effort. So we have a certificate of appreciation. So the CG Town Board would like to thank Richard Dick West for his time as town council person. Your dedication to your community is greatly appreciated. And we thank you for filling in, Mr. West. Well, we thank you. Our second. Presentation is going to Mr. Leo Oliver. I don't know if a lot of you know, you probably saw it in the paper, but Mr. Oliver was a retired state trooper, and after he got done being a state trooper, he decided that he'd like to become town clerk for Shay Z, so he's been doing this for 24 years, and tonight is the last official meeting. So we want to present him with a, a plaque that says, Congratulations, the Shay Z Town Board and its residents would like to recognize Leo Oliver for 24 years of dedicated service as its town clerk. We appreciate all that you have done for your town and wish you many years of happy retirement. And we also have a card for you with a few extra dollars because we know you're going to need it, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for serving, Leo, and the town appreciates it very much. Okay, the next one is going to the Shazy Boys soccer team. And we would like to congratulate you tonight and recognize you. It says, congratulations, the Shazy Town Board recognizes the Shazy Central Rural School Boys Soccer Team as co-champions of the New York State Class D Soccer Championship held on November 17, 2013. Your community is proud of your accomplishment. This is for you boys and Coach McAuliffe. Well, thank you for this, but I just want to say, you know, I'm very proud of these boys and what they did this year, but, you know, uh, we won this state championship on uh, their skill and ability, but we also won it on, because of the character that uh, these boys are, and, you know, it is, I think Scott made a good choice of us, of these boys, getting to see people who 
also serve, but also are here because of great care, like Mr. West and Mr. Oliver. And, you know, it's, it's good for them to see, you know, I think we want to see a championship on caring about each other and about character. That's why we want. And uh, I think in many ways, you know, those two men here, you know, our town thanks you because of your service, but also because of your character as well, too. So I think we're all, can, we have a connection here, I think, in some ways. But thank you. Thank you. To do a, a special presentation tonight, too, for Mr. Rob McCulloch. This congratulations, the Shady Town Board recognizes Mr. Rob McCulloch in being the first NYSPHSAA boys soccer coach to win seven state championships. You truly are a Shady legend. <laughs>
But do the police go and talk to them? Uh, they'll go over there, and the minute the police leave, they start right back up again. And you can tell whether it's him doing it. If it's him doing it, the music goes on until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. If it's her doing it, she'll start it up at 10 o'clock at night, and she'll start it off at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, he has to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Um, my in-laws are, are so shaken up, it's pathetic. Um, he's had open-heart surgery. He's had a pacemaker put in. Um, I have sleep apnea, so I'm up it, I mean, all hours of the night anyway. I don't sleep. My three grandchildren refuse to sleep in their bed. They sleep with their father and mother all night long now. They, they won't sleep in their own bedrooms. Okay, Larry, we'll, uh, we'll address that with the code officer and the state police, and we'll see what we can get done for you. All right, thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Anybody else like to address the board? Well, how do you... Yeah, got a couple things. To, uh, first of all, congratulations to, to Leo. Um, I think the plot was great. Dick, uh, you know, I've been around a couple of years, but this is I've, I've enjoyed you here on the board. And, and Stav, you know, the, I think the, the bar's been set. You know, uh, Jerry and, and uh, um, you guys can have your hands full. You know, there's a lot of changes <laughs> coming on here. Um, but on a, on a good note, um, the uh, the budget. For the county is we're, we're about ready to adopt it. Um, the tax rate's going to stay the same uh, at six dollars and seven cents, which it was at last year, uh, which is a 0.08 percent of an increase. Uh, we've we've done a very good job of working with the sales tax. We uh, took another uh, ninety thousand dollars out of the tax stabilization fund to to keep the tax rate where it's at. And and I think if you get a hold of Greg um, soon, I, he's not going to give you a definite number. But there should be a, a small check coming over and above what uh, what the anticipated sales tax would have been for the year. Um, well, you know, uh, I've been holding on this long. We've been thinking it all along, but I wasn't going to say it until I knew it was coming. You know? So, um, but and you know, again, you know, I've uh, I've appreciated you guys. Um, you know, I think you've got a good working board, and, and you've, you've set the bar so that these guys should <coughs> transition in very smoothly. You know? uh, but but again, thank you and. If you've got any questions of me, um, you know, let me know. But okay. Thank you. Now, how did you set the um, sales tax rate for next year? Where did you guys budget? The budget, all of them. Did you leave it the same? No, uh, I think we, if, if we increase it very, very small, um, it's, you know, those those figures, we've been very lucky. You know, there's only a couple of counties in New York State, and it's and it's not, you know, Bill, you can back me up, it's, it's not border counties. Uh, Saratoga County's done well, we've done well, but there's some other border counties that have, that have not done well. Um, and I know, you know, those are those are things that, you know, it, it may not be there next year, um, but, you know, this is the time where there's money there. You know, we, we've said, you know, I think any, any you, you, read, you pick up the newspaper and you see what some of these other, other towns and counties, I mean, they're in big trouble, you know, and, and we're very, very fortunate to, to have the sales tax that we have here. But, you know, I, I think we've done a good job at the county of, of maintaining what we have and, and you know, keeping the, keeping the growth. But, but just, you know, trying to be able to work with, with uh, the increases that we have, you know, uh, it's, it's tough all over. You know, we've heard it. You've heard it. I mean, I sat here last year, and, and I felt bad for you guys because it was the first year of, of not having uh, the way of tax money. And, you know, that's, that's huge. And I think you guys did a great job this year also. You know, um, it's... It's not as, as great as we think it is, you know, and, and as long as that money's there to, to hold it. Um, but to answer your question, Jerry, I, I will look. I, I, we might have raised it slightly, but not, not much. I, I just don't know. Um, you know. This is, we're in uncharted waters here for the, for the sales tax that we are, are receiving. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, we're just going to town the last couple of days, you know. Uh, yeah. Everything looks great, but it's not that way. And you see it in your Well, business. the last couple of years, you've held it. You haven't increased your projection, have you? Mm -hmm. I thought you kind of kept it. Well, I don't say. I can only talk for the last two years. We increased it this yeah. year, mm -hmm. and uh, and and being above the, the forecast, you know, this is this is great, uh, and, and I'd much rather see sales tax and property tax. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But you know, like I said, you know, uh, we've, we've done, we've held it as long as as, as best we can, and. and you know, that's why I suggested that we you know, move the 90000 out of the tax stabilization to, to keep the tax rate. You know, we're only looking at three or four cents, but, but if you're just, it's one thing you can tell people, if their assessment did not change, their taxes aren't going to change. You know? um, but right. you know, a lot of times the assessments do change, um, 
And I think as, as you know, even when I was on the town board in Butte Town, I wanted to be able to work with the increase in assessments and, instead of having to keep coming back and coming back. You know. And the county's done a, a very, very good job. You know. um, uh, so I will, I will get that, that, that number for you. Okay. Anything else like the work? <coughs> okay, we'll close public comment. Go around the table with you, Bill, we'll go around this way tonight. Just if there's any questions about those local laws or if you want to take it up when we get there, but it was just, as you said, stop to clean up the the town's local water law in terms of clarifying the you know, responsibility for maintenance of the water lines from the curb stop, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the other one was just some notice uh, requirements uh, under the telecommunications law that the town has, and just reducing the time frame instead of 10 days, it's five days notice for public hearings, and also not making the applicant provide the list of names of property owners within 1,500 feet. The board felt they wanted to do that themselves and make the information from the town assessor anyway. That's that. But there are other questions about them. Okay. Not much um, the normal water time for us at the garage. Um, getting everything rebuilt and water pumps and getting the chainsaws redone, everything we need for spring. It's slow time to go right straight through everything, get it all rebuilt, ready to go in the spring. Plowing sand is about it right now. Okay. Everything going good. Okay. Thanks. Mr. Yes, I would just like to thank the board for going along and me being appointed for this year. Uh, it's been fun. I certainly want to thank you for the certificate here. There'll be something else I'm putting on my memorabilia wall as my wife called it. I had an uncle that was in all kinds of stuff and he was worse than uh, well that eye doctor down there. Plaster <laughs> anything he blended up. The walls are painted with certificates. So my wife says I'm a lot like my uncle. No way to work. But I want to thank you for that. Thank you, town. Thank you, people. And it's been fun. It's been fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank Dan for his year of service. It's been a lot of fun having you here. I uh, would also like to say thank you, staff, and thank you, Lino, for the service um, mm -hmm. and all the assistance that you gave me and asked the board for the last 24 and not eight years that you've been here. And it's been a pleasure working with all of you. Um, I really don't have a lot. Uh, oh, we'd like to also thank you, Tim. I believe you're responsible for the decorations. Oh. And they look great. Um, once again, you've done a great job with them. Um, just a couple of things. I don't know where we are in the water and sewer. If, if that's something you want to be discussing. Um, don't have it on there, but would, would, would you have okay, a question about I don't know if we are going to move forward with that. Are we moving forward with the estimate that we have received for the work that needs to be done? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, okay. I do have that. I'm okay. going to talk about that. I want to give everybody time to look at it. Okay. See if you had any questions about it or any concerns. Okay. And any uh, word on That's the truck or anything? Or uh, on what? On the truck? Uh, I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. That's all I'm going to ask. Okay, Gary. Okay. That's really all I had to. And I'd like to thank Dick for his helping us out. Um, it was a pleasure. It really was. A lot of insight, experience. And uh, congratulations to both of you and your retirement. Wish us well. <laughs> <laughs> Come back and visit. <laughs> actually, there were several projects that Dick actually took upon himself to get done for the town, too. So is that yes. going to be your role now, Jerry? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he asked Kathy. In addition to serving on the board. He asked Kathy. In fact, I have one here. I have one more before the end of the year. Kathy and I were still going to do all that. Oh, okay. <laughs> call, call me anytime. <laughs> Cement work in the park. Yeah. Yeah. You already had your chance to tell me. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. you have anything else here? No. Okay. Just a couple things tonight. Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, just a couple quick things tonight. Um, we did have an unfortunate incident with our uh, maintenance truck. Um, uh, Dave Loop uh, got into an accident and totaled the truck, so we it was unfortunate. He's not hurt, thank God, and that's the main thing. 
Um, but we are waiting for um, the insurance company to let us know how much we are going to be, be receiving for insurance money. Um, we do have another truck picked out, and uh, as long as we could get state contract price or lower, we could go with a local dealer. Um, we do have a price from Riley Ford. We want to stay with a Ford truck again. Um, they have given us state contract price on a 250. It's a similar truck. So we're just kind of, uh, we got a couple of resolutions, or we're going to do some resolutions tonight to allow us to purchase the truck if we, once we decide how much money we've got. But we did get that state contract price, and Riley was willing to work with us on that. So we, we think we're in good shape. Um, we will have to get another plow um, to fit so that, that truck. That plow won't hurt. fit, or it won't fit. It was a different frame. Never different frame with it. So, so is that something that we can keep and sell, or? I told the insurance guy I'd keep it. Mm -hmm. okay. He said they'd only allow us like $300 for it. I said, if you're going to allow that, we'll keep it. We'll use it on one of our down trucks or yeah. something. And we'll lose yeah. it to something. Not for that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So um, we do have some resolutions to take forward with that. Um, we did receive some insurance recommendations. Uh, what happens is when, obviously, when you change insurance companies, they come in and they go into the buildings and the rec parks, etc., and they give you ideas of what needs to be fixed, etc., and I did get a listing of, most of it was to do at the rec parks with, you know, some of the old swing sets need to be, the rubbers need to re be replaced, and the, some of the chains were old and a little bit loose, so they want us to get some new chain done, have some sand underneath, the, make sure that we got enough coating underneath the uh, swings, etc., so I gave the list to Dave Loop, our maintenance gentleman, and I'm going to have him suggest him to him that he go through the parks and go through the recommendations and go right back to the insurance company and let them know that we're going to tend to them first time, or first of spring, so we can get everything kind of back in order. And it wasn't a lot. I mean, it was just a few things that they wanted us to fix up at the different parts, so we'll take care of them. That was all the recommendations for it? From Nightmare. Mm -hmm. Right. I can read some of them if you'd like. No, that's all right. It's just a bunch of little things. Um, one of them had to do with uh, this town hall. Uh, um, it's supposed to be inspected biannually by Hartford Steam Boiler. So we need to get a contract with them to have them come and inspect that boiler. It's just the, and then the rec parts are just installed. We'll get them taken care of. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Now, so your jobs aren't done yet. Um, <laughs> we should, like always, we do a, and I've been too busy, I haven't even think, thought about it, but we usually do a Christmas contest. And we give a prize to, uh, you know, three prizes, first, second, third place to the houses. Uh, we usually give a best tree and a best business board. And who would like to take on that? And basically what it is, you need to get a hold of some businesses and ask if they'll donate cash awards. Um, and then go around, somebody needs to go around and just do the judging. And then we'll post in the paper who won. Um, anybody would like to take on that so that we can contact some businesses? And usually they're very good. I mean, we usually contact um, Duper Feed and Riley Ford and the Hair Salon or any, any businesses that are willing to donate a little bit of cash. JC uh, Hardware usually does sometimes. Uh, I don't want to raise your hand at once. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Tell me what I got, what I got to do. I'll take a shot at it. I, okay. I hate to go around and dump No, I usually do it right on the phone. Bit. <coughs> oh. What I do is I call them up and say, look, we're doing a contest. And they say, so what, what could, would would you, could you take first place? And they say, yeah, no problem. It's $75. I say, no problem. We just got to get your agreement so that we'll pick it up later. And we do the contest, and then we go pick up the cash at the lo different locations, and then we put them in envelopes, and we post who won them. So you want me to go around and see these people? Is that it? You can call them or go see them, whatever. Yeah, okay, we're going to do it. Yeah, I'll, give you a, I'll work it up for you tomorrow. I'll send you an email. I'll go see them. Thank you. Okay? It's, it really, I do it all on phone. Yeah, I understand. I don't mind that. Yeah. I, I, I used to do it all on phone, and everybody was very generous, and there was no problem. Just a matter of doing it. Um, that's basically what, all. Um, 
What about the judging? When is that going to be? I used to do it uh, uh, like the week of Christmas. I used to get in the car and just drive through West Chazy, Scioto, Chazy, and go up and down the roads and try to, you know, write down the address of who we thought decorated the best and who decorated the nicest Christmas tree. Um, takes a couple hours to do. So do you want to pick a date? So uh, you have, don't you usually put it in the paper when well, I like the judging? I usually do, I put it in the paper right after Christmas. The, the, the no, but when the judging oh, yes. is going to be. So okay, so know. why don't we just put that we'll be judging the week of Christmas. We'll be, somebody will be out and about, so who is going to be doing that? Going around you want to do that too, Dick? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get a couple of people to do it. So okay. No yeah, it's just a couple I'll hours. Go over up and the, down the streets. And the, the dates and rates here, what's got to be done and where it's got to be done. With. The other thing, though, that Sue usually has, I think, a list of the people who won last year. Yeah. I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we try to give it to different people every year. Yeah. I can give you an idea for one last year so we don't give them. We do it by areas, different areas? No, we just. You know, I don't want. Is Part of Toyota and Mush Easy too, so we okay, just say first prize is this one. It could be somebody in Mush Easy. Alright, there's your hand in there too. Well, well yeah. 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 Now it's a town thing. We got to do the That's whole right. town. That's right. right. You're right. You even have to go way down to the landing. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's right. no trees. Roger, you just trying to get the what is it, 40, 50 cents a mile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get paid. I get paid for this. <laughs> Oh, I'm very happy. I didn't think I got paid for it. You'll notice it in your check. Yeah. I'll get with you. Okay. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before we go to resolutions, I just want to thank you know everybody on the board. It was, has been a pleasure working with you. Uh, we've had some good people on the board. I mean, uh, uh, you know, God bless Bucket. Uh, we had a lot of good years with Bucket. Uh, Mr. West, we appreciate your time. Kathy, Jerry. Um, Sue, my right-hand person, um, Leo was phenomenal. I mean, the nicest thing about this board and working with you was that we got along. Very rarely did we ever have a little tip. I can't remember a time where we really had a big, large disagreement. Um, but it was a pleasure working on behalf of the uh, town and its residents. And I'm going to probably put a little blurb on Facebook and a blurb on this uh, in the paper, just thanking people for letting me serve you and. Um, I really enjoyed it and ready to move on to other things at this point, but thank you very much. So we'll move on to resolutions. Mm -hmm. Oops, one more thing maybe? Oh, yes, let's go back to that, I'm sorry. Uh, the Kluke situation with the zebra. Yeah. Um, so did everybody get a chance to look at that? That, mm -hmm. that basically is what it's going to cost for them to put the whole plan together. If this work won't be done, obviously, until spring, summertime, but they're willing to do all the drawings, uh, give us all the specs so that we can go out for bid on it. And it's going to cost that amount just to go out for bid? Well, just to put the specs together and for everything that needs to be done because there's a lot to it. Oh, that's How's our budget for it? Well, it's a public budget. Before we go to resolutions, any questions, concerns? Now, the, the $6,900, that then, whatever the other bid comes in to repair, to repair it will mm -hmm. be on top of that. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we have any idea? Or do they have? No, we no, have no, no. um, Without the specs, right. Okay, we'll move on to resolutions then. Okay, first resolution is appointment to the planning board. Donald Green, Donald Trey Green. I'll make the motion. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes. 
Councillor Devlin's made the motion, second by Councillor Dino, that uh, the appointment of Donald Trey Green III for the five year term to expire December 31st, 2018. Any further discussion? Roll call Councillor West? Yes. Councillor Devlin? Yes. Councillor Dino? Yes. Councilor Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Receipt of letter of resignation from mm -hmm. Philip Baharnaw, resigning from the Board of Assessment Review. I'll make a motion. I'll second that. Councilor Dino made the motion. Second by Councilor West. Any further discussion? Do we have anybody else that's interested in doing that or? Um, not at this time. Um, but if you have somebody that you know that might be interested, let us know. Okay. Um, uh, maybe Mark might have somebody mm -hmm. that you might know. Out there. Um, one quick thing before we get done to go ahead, uh, Leo. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to announce that there's some refreshments after the meeting that we got for everybody just for Christmas or something. We'll think of some stuff. Mm -hmm. So stick around if you will. Go ahead. Roll call Councillor West? Yes. Councillor Devon? Yes. Councillor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Next one is Local Law Number 5 of the year 2013 entitled Local Law Amending the Town of Shazy Watercourt. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Motion is made by Councillor Devlin, seconded by Councillor West. Any further discussion? Roll call Councillor West? Yes. Councillor Devlin? Yes. Councillor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. <coughs> Next one is Local Law Number 6 of the year 2013, entitled Local Law Regulating Siting of Wireless Telecommunication Facilities. Resolution authorizing supervisor to sign a work plan agreement with Earth Science Engineering PC. I'll make a motion. Go for it. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dino made the motion, second by Councillor Devins. Any further discussion? They're the only ones that have looked at the situation, correct? Yes, this is Dino and these guys were recommended by our water superintendent. Oh, okay. They're very reasonable. All right. We trust this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Roll call Councillor West? Yes. Councillor Devon? Yes. Councillor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. What is the light fund budget modification? I'll, I'll make a motion. Councillor West made the motion, seconded by Councillor Devins. Any further discussion? Roll call Councillor West? Yes. Councillor Devins? Yes. Councillor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Next one is a resolution authorizing the supervisor to sign broker of record change for David Siskavich. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean? His insurance, we cover his insurance. Um, what are you working with? For Dave, correct. Um, and it's basically switching it over to Northern where we switch the rest of our stuff and they'll be the broker for the same policy. It'll be okay. the same policy. All right. They'll just be the broker. Okay. I'll make so we have one person to deal with. I'll 
I'll second. Councilor West made the motion, second by Councilor Devins. Any further discussion on that? Roll call Councilor West? Yes. Councilor Devins? Yes. Councilor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Speaker? Yes. Oh, I, I got to abstain on that one. Oh, okay. Insurance carrier, how much are we going to get from the old truck? A resolution to purchase this new truck because obviously we need a truck as soon as possible. If we don't, it's going to wait another 30 days. Which we have no idea how much money we're talking about. What does the truck cost? He looked it up and uh, oh, we have the price of the new truck. What's that? Okay, um, we're thinking from what uh, Timmy told me, he looked up the uh, county blue book on what we should get, hopefully, hopefully. On the old truck, which should be about uh, twenty-seven or twenty-eight thousand, so between twenty-eight and thirty-three grand. And this new truck. That's what we should get yeah, from the, the old truck. The old truck. Yeah, that's what it's valued at. I don't know. I mean, how can we see the the price of the new truck is twenty-four thousand three fifty, and that's a two thousand fourteen with that no state plan. contract with no problem. The new one is what twenty-four thousand three fifty. It's a two thousand fourteen model. State well, contract price. Was plot for that about five thousand or something? Six. Six. For a good heavy duty being all the time. Same as yeah. that. We can. Uh, Leo had a good suggestion. If you want to wait till the twenty third, it's not that far away. And we can do a resolution at that meeting. And we might know more we'll have more we'll definitely have more knowledge mm -hmm. by that. So, so are we gonna have them or bring it someplace else and put a plow on that truck as well? Yeah. We'll have to if well the thing is we gotta let them know if we're gonna take it or not, but at this time, we have to wait a few more days um, so we can find out what the insurance is going to pay. So if we don't, if we don't make out with the insurance company, where is the money coming from? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. We're going to take uh, about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars a piece from all of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we don't have. It takes care of my money for Christmas. Has there been any any um, of looking at a good use truck instead? The thing is, by the time you find a good use, one even comparable to what you're already at state contract for use. Are we sure of that? And there's a big difference between retail and state contract price. We found that out. Okay. Many thousands of dollars. No, I, I understand right. that. Many. Actually, the price doesn't tell them that. You're going to have 30000 no, the time you get the plow and everything on it. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just wait until the 23rd, meeting of the 23rd, and we'll do a resolution then and we'll have all the facts in, in place. Make it a little easier to yep. We'll forego those resolutions again. Okay, the next resolution we have is 2013 budget transfers. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Councilor West made the motion seconded by Councilor Dino. Any further discussion? Roll call Councilor West? Yes. Councilor Devon? Yes. Councilor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Next is payment of claims. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Councilor Devon's made the motion. Seconded by Councilor uh, Dino. Any further discussion? Roll call Councilor West? Yes. Councilor Devon? Yes. Councilor Dino? Yes. Supervisor Speaker? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the 23rd, what time are we going to be meeting? 4.30. 30. 30. Okay, that'll be for the paper? Okay. And it will only be that half hour, correct? Because I'm going to report that. That's the 23rd? 23rd. Monday. 4.30. And we're going to make a motion to adjourn. Someone. Okay. I'll set. Okay. Councilor Devon made a motion to second by Councilor Dino during the meeting. For the town hall over there. At 745. You guys pass that right along. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
Why? No. 